Because Excel has so many command buttons in the ribbon menu system, at times you can't find the command. You're not sure which tab to click and then where is that button that I need here? What's really helpful is what we call the shortcut menu. Anytime in Excel when you use the right mouse button, you get a pop-up menu and sometimes you will also get what's called a mini toolbar. Now, I might want a new row between row six and seven here, and I'm not sure where to find this. I think they use the term insert. Imagine that little scenario. So I'm gonna to go to the insert tab up in the ribbon, and I'm gonna look around here, and I will not find what I want, because it's not there. How am I supposed to know that? So what I'm going to do, and here too, maybe it's guesswork, but I'm going to right click on row seven. This is the actual row number here. I'm going to right click. And what pops up here is an abbreviated list of commands taken from the main menus. They're not necessarily all from the Home tab. Here's some different choices here. Microsoft has programmed this feature to bring up only the commands that most users are likely to need at this point. And right above it is what we call the mini toolbar. Now, I don't need to do any formatting right now, but if I wanted to make all those cells bold, I can do it right here. I don't have to go up to the top menu anywhere. So I just did that. I'll right click again on row seven, and I think it is insert, and this will push all the data down. I want to insert a new row, and that happens. Now, the right mouse button is context sensitive. If I highlight some cells like this and right click, we're going to see the mini toolbar there, and certainly some of these commands we saw before are there, but there's some others as well too. So it's a slightly different list of commands there. So it is context sensitive. And although maybe it's premature for some of you, you haven't worked with Excel just yet, if I go to one of the sheet tabs at the bottom and right click one of them, that's a completely different set of features related to worksheets within an Excel workbook where we can add new ones. And you can see some of the terms and probably guess what a lot of them mean. So that right mouse button is really handy, not only for the commands that it offers you, but when it comes time to formatting, that mini toolbar puts those buttons close to where the action is, you might say. If I right click a column at the top of the screen, I'm right clicking column D. We would expect to see insert here, just as we did on a row, and we see some similar commands like we saw before, but this time insert would mean insert a new column. I don't want to do that here, but if I did, that's where I would go. Many commands in Excel are like this in that you don't really have to go into the menu system. You can use the right mouse button. And even if you right click one of the buttons that we see up in the ribbon, here's one here. If I right click this, there are some choices. Turns out I don't want to do any of these right now, but once again, that's the same basic idea. Using the right mouse button brings up a shortcut menu. And I think you'll find it absolutely vital as you work with Excel to be using that many, many times. You just can't remember all those commands and where to find them. So it's really invaluable as you work with Excel.